What's up guys, Don Juan. So, uh, doing a product review, um, just a first initial impressions. This is the oil cooler I decided to go with. This is a 16 by, if I remember correctly, like eight and three quarters by like three inches thick or something like that. Uh, I'll put the specifications on the screen, the exact specs, but it's a Fluidine. Um, I'll show you guys the label here. It's a Fluidine uh, oil cooler. Um, this oil cooler, um, I decided to go with this one because Fluidine is actually known for making products for the NASCAR scene. Um, you know, making a product that's designed to deal with that kind of heat and pressure and stuff on a constant basis on a racetrack, I felt would have been perfect for daily uses. Like I shouldn't have any issues. So this is a, about a 13 to 14 row um, oil cooler. Um, the other reason I went with this is because the six liters have a specific gallon per minute flow rate um, on the high pressure uh, uh, oil pump. And you don't want to disrupt the flow of oil, especially that we're adding more oil to the sump and it has to go travel to the front of the, the engine, uh, the front of the truck now so one thing I really liked um, is this has built-in 12 AN fittings um, welded directly in there and you can see the welds are very very nicely done this is a really nice product I like how you know usually you see some of these products the welds are kind of cheap you know eh, you know like they're kind of ugly but this is you know they actually did very very well um, it's very clean but uh, 12 a.m. fittings are about three quarters of an inch, so they can flow what the truck needs. The truck flows about 18 and a half gallons per minute at 3,300 RPMs, and uh, this can flow, I believe, like 20 something gallons per minute. I'll put it on the screen as well. So obviously we have enough flow um, for the actual uh, truck itself, um, so, so it doesn't starve the engine of any oil. Um, we have mounting brackets on top and bottom already built in, which is pretty nice. Um, up here, we have, this is a half inch NPT. Um, so this allows you to plug some kind of sensor or something, or you can even plug a thermal switch in here, which I thought about. Yeah, I might still do it for in the future. I just wanna see how it works after I get installed. But what you can do is, if this is mounted on the truck, um, you can put a fan back here, like a small eight to 10 inch fan, electric fan. You can put a thermal switch here that at a certain temperature it would trigger you know it would uh, trigger a relay and the relay would cut the fan on um, so you can have extra cooling which would be kind of nice but like I said I'm planning to test it without the fan and see how it goes now the original one that comes in a few kits um, are only nine eight or nine row coolers so they're actually smaller and they're not as thick as this so I was concerned with the amount of heat the engine produces and everything that it wouldn't be enough and I have seen some complaints online of people saying that they were actually still having very hot temperatures um with going with those other coolers so i decided to go with this cooler um like i said they have a very good reviews they do very they make very good products so i figure spending a little bit more money on this oil cooler would help you know save me money in the long run potentially from doing it again or having to replace other parts so again this is the fluidine oil cooler um externally mounted and uh, 12 an again at the end and a half inch mpt at the top for some kind of sensor if you'd like and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video now i'll catch you guys on the next one peace